afternoon everyone uh it's saturday afternoon uh myself and alfie oh, yeah, alfie's calling me over there now with the target let's go see alfie what have you got lad oh let me just pull the headphones let me take the headphones off you for a minute that sounds nice sir. What, what numbers you got 11.34 oh there look yeah, Alfie's found a coin. Uh, there's the impression there. Well done, Alfie. You are found. Oh, it's pretty blank. But I can make out some detail there. Yeah. Uh, I could just see Burnhead Victoria there looking to the left. Good morning everyone, uh, I'm back out, uh, back out on the uh, YouTube dig in Cheshire uh, on the John 316 UK dig and it's a good turnout, uh, there's loads of detectorists in that field, there's quite a few here, this is Ian Ashhenia, the <laughs> uh, raft man just there uh, I've just dug my first target uh, I'm using the CTX with the uh, 17 inch coil uh, it was ringing in at 12.46 and showing 12 inches down and it was bang on because that's a good 12 inches down and first target is a horse brass I've never seen one like that before and that's quite nice that is I'm happy with that okay on to the next okay uh, next target uh, 11.36 so then silver there I won't count my chicken yet in case there's a button because it's pretty shallow. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a washer. Okay, next target. I uh, was ringing in at 12.44. See a coin there. That is Cartwheel Territory, 12.44. See it there? Okay, let's bring it out. See if we see the imprint. There's the imprint there. Yeah, that's a Cartwheel. Um, I've seen a cartwheel get brought out here um, when I first walked in by another detectorist uh, called Liam, uh, Digger Davis Detecting. Okay, I don't know if you can make that out. It'll probably all be gone by the time I get home. There's Britannia. You can see the border of the cartwheel. Then turning it over, I think uh, George III's gone. He does look to the right. But uh, it's a cartwheel and I don't mind finding them. So where there's cartwheels, there's silver. Let's carry on. Okay, next target was a banging target. I was I would have guaranteed this was going to be a coin, but some kind of old ring. Okay, next target was banging at twelve forty-five. Really good sounds off that, and it's an old horse buckle. Okay, happy with that. Okay, next target was uh, ten inches down, ringing twelve thirty-six to eleven thirty-six, and it's a uh, it's an old halfpenny. Um, Let's see if I can get anything off it. Uh, Coming close now, these cows. Right, okay, next target is ringing in at 12.40. Something there. I don't know if it looks like uh, three pence. Uh, not a silver one, one of the uh, brass ones that came out after. There's the imprint there. Oh, that's in good nick, that. The coins are in, you know, fairly good condition here. All right, that's 1937. Okay, next target, I uh, was ringing 1216, and it's a cut half, but it's not hammered. It's uh, It's been a coin, it's just been cut clean in half. Uh, I can't make nothing out on it. Okay, next target was uh, 1137, I think it was. Uh, it's just, uh, I've just broke it up. I don't know if there's a button or a coin. There's the imprint, and it's looking like a coin to me. Uh, farthing size. Okay, next target was a very uh, faint target. Uh, I'm sure. You know, probably just a. Oh, does that look like a boat? Hang on a minute. Got broke then, but okay, happy with that. On to the next. 
Okay, I'm back in the uh, first field now where the uh, long grass is. Uh, apparently there's a couple of hammers being found in here. Uh, I'm not sure where uh, the raft man is. Maybe it's the raft man that's found them or, or Pete. Okay, the next target is ringing in at uh, 12.43. You can see something there. Have a look. Well, it's not. Oh, it's not silver. Uh, not sure. Maybe an old halfpenny. I've just sprayed that down now, uh, and you can see George the uh, Third just looking to the right. Okay, I'm actually in a stubble field now. Uh, this is not my first target. My first target was filmed by uh, Craig from the Four King Diggers. Uh, this is my next target. Let's see. And, you know, just look how deep that is. Ah, and that's what it is. That looks interesting. And that was a, a job to find, actually, because it just kept on going down and down and down. That's about 16 inches. You know, when you look at that, that's 9 inches. And then there's the top. 16 inches. The 17 inch coil is absolutely brilliant. But uh, that looks interesting. Some kind of old relic. Good morning everyone. Uh, I'm back out. Right, at last I've made it. Um, I'm out today with a special guest. A lot of you will know who my guest is. Uh, I'll just show you the uh, the land first where we're going to be detecting. This is where we're going to be today. And my special guest is... Well, hello there. Here we are. And it's going to be an absolutely amazing day today. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Right, I'll see you at the first time. Right, uh, we're still stood on the same spot where we did our intro. And uh, I just said to Harry, oh, the, oh there's a target there. And uh, we've just dug it, it was ringing 12.42. It's a modern penny, but it gets me started. A coin to coin. it was a coin, and I said to him, it's not a coin, and it turned out to be a coin, so there you go. <laughs> right, it's absolutely pouring down now. Uh, next target uh, is a buckle. Uh, I don't know what period that's from, but uh, yeah, it's been here a while. So just keep on going. Uh, we're not made out of sugar. Okay, uh, my next target. I just found this now. It was banging at uh, 12.35. Uh, it might be an old annular brooch. Uh, if Pete or Ian J can just confirm that. Oh. Um, yeah. It has got that look to it. And it looks to be a shotgun cartridge. Hey, there you go. Is that worth the walk, Neil? It was worth, worth the work. Walk? It was worth the walk, mate. Oh, it'll be you. Look at that. <laughs> See, you're not used to this. No Set cameras. <laughs> Come on. Double cameras now. <laughs> okay, uh, next target. Yeah, it was only ringing 12.04. Now, a lot of people won't dig 04 numbers because, you know, the target's very small. But, you know, it's non-ferrous. And I'm glad I dug it because it's a tiny, tiny buckle really small i'm happy um to get that uh i'm really not used to um detecting in the stubble uh god it's like someone's trying to hold the detector back okay my next target i could just see it sitting there on the top and it was ringing 12 16. there you go it's uh but uh okay, next target was ringing 12 17 uh, another low ringing target um i don't know if it's a button or a coin Hang on, I think the lens is so sorry. Right, uh it's a button or a coin. Um I'm not too sure. It's gone very black. Um let's let me give it a spray. You know, <laughs> now and then it does look like a 20 pence on the edge there actually. Oh, another signal just down here. And it looks to be green and round. Yet again, but is it going to be blank? Let's take a look. All right. Oh, and it looks like it is. 
Actually, I don't know. Oh, actually, that looks to be just a 2p, I think. 2p? Yeah, that's 2p. It's one of my friends. I used to find a lot of these and then they kind of stopped for a while and now they're back. <laughs> there you go, there she is. I see it, mate. 2p. Nice one. There you go. What a little beauty. That's it, two pads. Hopefully we don't get no more of them today. That's it. Okay, uh, next target is ringing in at 12.36. And it's rather a coin or a button, let's find out. There's the imprint there. Uh, it's a half penny, it's blank. Going by the thickness, I'd say it's George the second, but we're not going to get nothing off that. Okay, um, I've noticed all over this field, there's bits of flint. Now, I'm not used to seeing that in North Wales, so I'm doing a video clip just showing... There's bits everywhere. Now, I don't know if it's native to here. Harry thinks it could be. It's everywhere. And this piece here, it's got the letter N in it for Neil. So, I might keep this bit and take this bit back to Wales with me. Okay, just come over now to this bit. And I was getting a double ding, so that means it's on the top. There you go. Bit of an impression there. And it's a... It's another half penny. There might be a bit of detail on this one, actually. There is detail there. Uh, oh, nothing on that side. One more white band, we'll have one more look. I'm not sure. It's either going to be George Five or a Vicky or a Edward the Seven. Right, um, right on the top here, I've already had a quick look at it. It's a uh, trade weight. You see the impress impression there? I'll have to see if, it, if it's got a... Uh, any detail in it? It should be a, like a a stamp in there. Sometimes you see the king's crown. But uh, okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm not finding much at the moment. Uh, still looking. Um, I just saw that now on the ground, and I thought, all oh, right, is that a, a spindle whirl or something? But it's actually made out of flint. You can see there is breaking away. But you know, just to look, it's nice and round. You know, that's got to be man-made, that hole there. You know, what was that going to be? It's not all the way through. It's very shallow. Uh, I thought this was going to be a, a small coin, but just rubbing it now, it's another button. Yeah, we're still going. It's raining again. Uh, Harry's there, finding a target. Piece of iron. Never mind. Right, let's keep on going. Right, Harry's just called me over now. Uh, I've heard the word silver. What you got, mate? All right, take a look at this. What would you say to that? William? Yeah. It's not hammered, is it? Yeah, it's hammered. You reckon? Yeah, that's hammered. What do you think, Elizabeth? Uh, that's Elizabeth looking at this. Yeah, because of the shield. Yeah, mate. No, go on, you do the honours. Okay, I'm going to do the honours for Harry. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's hammered, isn't it? It's a hammered. That's a nice one as well, isn't it? 1582. It's, it's uh, Elizabeth I, sixpence. And yeah, I've never had a Lizzie before. Let's open this and see the imprint on What a find. That well is done, nice, mate. isn't it? Now, it's in good condition as well. Now, look at the imprint on that. Right, so you, you can take that bit home. I'll take that bit, yeah? Are you sure? We'll yeah. swap if you want. <laughs> well, I'm happy with that. That's a oh, beauty, isn't look it? look at that. Oh, oh that's, that's really nice. Is that in good nick, is it? Really good nick because uh Usually the face sword's pretty down. You found yeah. one of these last week, didn't you? Yeah, it's been exactly a week. Oh, there you go. Yeah, excellent mate. Look at that, what a little beauty, eh? Well done, Harry. Thank you. <laughs> Let me do the hammy dance because I've never hammy done Hammy dance. Wow, <laughs> 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 thank you. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> there you go. Nice one, mate. Throttle anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, uh, I've just put the uh, macro lens on now. Uh, just look at the detail on that. That is lovely there. Every bit of detail has survived. You can see there on the edge where what it says. Elizabeth. But unfortunately, Crazy Harry seemed to have dinked the back of it with a shovel. Well, he's just touched the bottom of the shield there. But, but it looks already... like it was already worn anyway. Yes. There's nothing wrong with that, mate. Right. Just look at that. So that that's um, off this field here, now that's one, two, maybe the third or fourth hammered off here now, yeah. in the last month or so. Yeah, that's it, that's nice. Uh. Nice one, Harry, well done, Cheers. mate. Well done. Cheers, buddy. Can we just have a repeat of the, the hammer dance? Why? 
Because I wasn't recording before. <laughs> yes, you were. Come on, Harry. <laughs> Beauty. Ah, yeah, that's it. Okay, next target for me, um, I think it's an old loom weight. What do you think, Harry? Yeah, that's ancient. That's definitely very white. Yeah, very white. that's old. Oh, you might have hit it there, maybe, or someone has, a plow or something. Yeah, yeah, that's an old marker. But, um, yeah, that's got some age to it, so, yeah, so happy with he's that. He's just detecting over here, so I've brought it over to him, and he thinks he knows what it is. So, he's going to do the honours, and we're going to have a look. So, look at the size of that for a coin. Right, just looking at the ridge there now, that's looking like a, a cartwheel penny. And if it is, that's my first ever cartwheel, so that'd be cool. Yeah, that's definitely a cartwheel. Cartwheel? Yeah, so that's George the Third, 1797 penny Jesus. and one ounce of copper. this coin now, uh, bringing 12.25. There is some detail on there. Uh, I just can't make it out. I'm going to risk spraying it. It might make it worse. Okay, next target is a button, and this one's got a detail on it. Uh, it's got a bump there, so it's a nice bit of detail. Uh, not sure what it is like. Right then, um, I'm almost out of time. Uh, looks like the 80 Pro might have kicked my today, but I've got from here to where our bags are which is right over there i don't know if you can make out a bit of white about a mile away. yeah so i'm going to go in a straight line now like a laser and let's see if i can uh, beat harry okay first target walking back to the car is a coin uh it's not silver it's like a uh, farthen size I don't say it's another 20p. Okay, uh, next target, uh, bringing in a 12.44. Uh, I said to Harry, it's rather going to be a cartwheel or a big silver, but it was neither of them. It's a half penny. Uh, I think it's oh, George III, I think. Right, I can't make nothing out on that, uh, anyway. Okay, let's keep on going. I'm out of time, though. Okay, uh, next target. Uh, I'm not sure. The only thing that I can think of, um, is it something to do with golf, or lifting a golf tee out the ground? That's the only thing I can think of. Uh, there's a logo there, but I can't make out what it says, but... That's the only thing that I can think of. I don't think it's that old either. Right, uh, next target is another coin. Uh, it's looking like a pound coin. Yeah, pound coin, and that is far gone. Uh, as you can see, Harry's walking back for some scran. So he's claiming victory. But I got from here to that bag over there to... I've won. I've done enough. Right. Sausage roll time. Right. Come on, mine lab. Right, that's the end of my hunt here now with uh, Harry. And I've got to admit defeat. Uh, the CTX did come second today to the uh, the <laughs> AT Pro. So. We've done it. We've done it. The AT Pro crew, we finally done it. Yeah. There you go. It was luck. But it's been a good day. It was luck, <laughs> yeah. I've actually got to put it down to fatigue. Put it down to fatigue. Yeah, yeah. fatigue. He's a tired guy. Got six hours drive home now, you know. Right, uh, I'll just go through Harry's finds. Uh, if you've watched Harry's video by now, you would have seen these. Um, button, uh, a sailor's button, musket balls, uh, some coins. Uh, this is a lovely coin there. You've got George III there uh, looking to the right. Cartwheel penny, uh, 1797, which is one ounce of copper. Really big coins. Uh, not sure what that is. Yeah, some, I don't know some, what that is. Maybe some kind of bag seal, but it's like got a fancy design yeah. to it. Uh, a few buttons, spoon handle, and find of the hunt is the Elizabeth the First Sixpence 1582, and that is an excellent nick. Uh, it's not been distorted, it's nice and straight. That's a brilliant nick, that it is. Well done, Harry. Thank you very much. 
Right, and I'll just show you my finds. Uh, nothing to write home about. Uh, Harry's catching a, a bit of a cold. Uh, uh, there's loads of buttons in there, as you can see. Um, I don't know if that's a trade weight or a scale weight. Uh, loom weight. Uh, I think this is an annual brooch. I think that's what it's, it's got to be, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's probably uh, my best find of the hunt. Um, also, I did like that buckle as well. That's the smallest buckle that I've ever found. Uh, just load of buttons, really. Another buckle, I think that's from Golfing. And that's it. So, that's it now. I've got six hours drive home now in the car. Six hours, Harry. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here, Neil. And you're welcome any time, my friend, all right? He's my Any time you can come. My all brother right? of another mother. Yeah. There you That's go. it. I've enjoyed it. Okay, and so thank you for watching, commenting, and subscribing. I'll be uploading another video soon. Take care, all the best. Yeah. Good luck and happy hunting. And don't forget to watch my outtakes. Let me do the hammy dance because I've never hammy done one. dance. Nice song, mate. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's it. Good afternoon. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, it's fine. Cut this out, yeah. yeah, I'll cut it out. Oh,